The reason the trucks roll over has a lot to do with the fundamental differences between the prime movers and trailers. They have different centres of gravity. Anything with a low centre of gravity is hard to flip over. But something else with a higher centre of gravity, even if it weighs the same, tips over much more easily. It's short and wide against narrow and tall. Low centre of gravity, stable, versus high centre of gravity is unstable. When we do our presentations, we use scale models just to show how the centre of gravity affects rollovers. Just to give you some sort of example when a, a prime mover by itself will roll over, generally, if you look at this model here, I don't know if you can see the, the figures there, we're starting to get up around 50, 50 to 70 degrees, depending on the truck. Some of the cab over stuff, being very low slung, will go right up to 70 degrees before they tip over, which is fairly good, it's fairly stable. We take this log truck, which is pretty common what you see ripping up and down the road every day. Have a guess when it's going to roll over. 25? 25? 40. 40? Any takers on 40? Cool. 35. 35? 25 to 40 degrees is what we're saying. This isn't contrived. This is off tilt tests that have been done. And this is what you're looking at going down the road. getting up there. You can see what Chris was talking about before. Trailer goes first. We're just starting to lift a wheel there. The reality is a log truck like that, which isn't the most unstable one on the road, it's just a six axle scale, generally with a tri-axle on the back, will roll at 15 degrees static. That's before any other forces are applied anywhere. And as the logging industry knows, when you've got a road with a seven degrees cross fall to get rid of the water, there's not much left. It could be the way the truck was loaded in the first place. I mean, if the load shifted during the, the trip down and they get to a particular corner, it's got a bit of slope on it. It could also be other drivers on the road moving out of the way of another driver who's not doing the right thing. Um, it could be the road conditions themselves. Perhaps something's wrong with the road or it's not the right sort of route the truck should be going down. Alan has a story that he tells in our presentation about someone he knows that perfectly illustrates what can happen when you're used to carrying one type of load, then you switch to a different type of load with the same weight, but has a different centre of gravity. One classic experience, a bloke I've known for a lot of years, utmost respect for him as a friend and a truck driver, 20 years driving quarry products, never an issue, never a ticket, not a problem, never overloaded, found him 20 kilos overloaded on axle once. Absolutely fantastic bloke, absolutely fantastic driver. One day, Things are a bit tight at the quarry. He's got a big bolt bin, puts wood chips on. First load, same road, over he went. What it's about is centre of gravity again. So we're looking at, in this particular model, is our sand, our quarry material. And most people would say a heavy load will roll first. So what we did was we showed the same weight in sand and chip bark, and we tipped the trailer up We've got an axle move. We're up at about 25, 26 degrees, and 30 degrees it tips over. All right, that's what this quarry material does. Fill her up with chip bark. What do you think is gonna go? Same weight, same truck, same tool tray, same doing everything. We're already going before it even gets to 20 degrees. Gone. That's exactly what happened to him. He didn't know what the load was, even though that he was carrying, in fact, this is a little less than the, the sand weight. He didn't know what he was carrying and where the centre of gravity is moved up in the truck becomes unstable. Simple as that. Just to prove that centre of gravity has more effect than uh, the weight, what we'll do is take away half the weight. So we've got half the amount of chip bark in there, half the weight of the quarry product. So here we go. We're tipping it over. Going, going gone. Same as before. So we've just shown you that even with only half the weight that the centre of gravity has more effect than the weight. 65k on a 65k corners might be fine one day but the next day you could have a, a different load, higher, heavier up top, new drive tyres, all those contributing factors could, um, could mean you need to reduce the speed to get around that corner safely. And that's, that's where the education needs to come in.